What is up all my YouTube brethren? Thank you for tuning back into the channel today. We all had an awesome Christmas, an awesome New Year, and we've got even more awesome things here on the channel to be able to show you. Today we're gonna to be doing a full review on the Artipad Mini. This is by Top Don USA, another awesome scan tool. This one's gonna be better than just about any other one that I've done any reviews on. So you guys are gonna to wanna to check this one out. Stay tuned. So getting into this, we've got the Artipad Mini. This is put out by a company called Top Don USA. Primarily they were an overseas company, but they're breaking their way into the US market and they're breaking in in a big way. This Artipad Mini is something that I've had my hands on for about a month, month and a half now, and been able to put it through its paces in the US market vehicles, the Asian vehicles, and quite a few here and in between. I've had some, uh, Time to be able to compare it to some snap-on scanners and some of my factory scan tools as well. So this thing has been actually something that I'm going to tell you guys is very, very impressive. What it is hardware based wise, it is a hardware based platform usually put out by launch. So you're going to see this one in more of like the overseas market, the launch HTT, I believe is what it was called over there, but we've got it rebranded hardware wise as the Artipad Mini. It is an Android based software tablet. It's gonna have a seven and a half, I believe seven and a half inch screen to it. It is very nice handheld and the biggest kicker of it all is the OBD2 port that plugs in is Bluetooth wireless. So you don't have that big dongle cord hanging out and getting in the way everywhere. Everything's gonna be able to be taken out on the road and used whenever and wherever you guys choose. So hardware wise, this thing is very capable, very agile, easily handheld, a nice product to hold. So now we'll get into the meat and potatoes here of the software and the function that we have. As you can see, the Android based tablet, very nice. Uh, we've got their Artipad Mini software. So like I said, this is like a launch based hardware tablet that you see. Now this thing has over 130 different uh, makes models from American, European, Asian, Chinese, all the way across the board. I can sit here and scroll forever. It goes from Zotye all the way up to your Abarth and everything in between. So we're able to see just about anything that they have there for traditional diagnostics. The really cool thing that I like about this one is that if you have any kind of issues here in the shop sense, you're able to have their technicians come in for remote diagnostics. This scan tool doesn't have to be sent in for, oh, we've got to check your software repair or we've got to go on a 30 minute telephone conference call to try to figure this out here and have you try to figure out and press 97 buttons buttons as well. Their customer help team is also based in the US, so that helps for us guys here. As you can see here on the scan tool, we've got everything, our remote diagnostics, all of our software upgrades for everything that we've got in our scan tool. We can update all of these from the standard base software through all of the different manufacturers. You can check your software and update as needed on there. Go back to the main screen. We've got our traditional diagnostics. We'll go that in a minute. And then we've got our special functions, our resets, the quick settings is what I like to call this screen. You've got our oil resets, steering angle sensor, battery, bleeding, electronic throttle relearn, tire pressure monitor, diesel particulate filter regen, gear relearns, injectors, the whole nine yards, guys. This thing has a really nice, easy, quick set of resets and calibrations for you. So we're gonna go back to the main screen, maintenance and help personnel center. You're able to adjust all your profile and settings. 
Da -da 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 -da. So we want to get into the diagnostics portion of it and we can see what this thing can actually do for you. So to give you guys a quick test of the full function of this, we've got our 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan here in the shop. We're going to unhook the OBD2 port from the back of that and we're going to plug it into the vehicle. Plug it in and we'll get in here so we can get away from all the hustle and bustle in the shop. So, here on the scan tool, we're able to scroll to our Dodge, click on that one, and then we're able to find out, see where our software update is, and we'll submit to look into this one. <clears throat> Have it load. Um, one of the things that I did find out about this is that it does take a little bit for loading. If you start this thing from a cold boot, you're going to have a minute or so of loading. I've already kind of got it loaded here. Also, uh, when you go to search for a vehicle, you hit that, you hit the manufacturer there. If you do an automatic search, which is from this tab right here, that automatic search is going to take the VIN number of the vehicle and it's going to do an online search. Uh, through its database and it's going to take an extra minute or so to download all the vehicle specifics So I already know what I have so to quicken up the process here Yeah, 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan And then it brings up all of our ECUs that we have available on the vehicle everything from PCM Literally all of it so, to start off, we've got our powertrain control module here up top. We're going to click on that one. See what kind of rate we get here for communication speed. Processing, please hold. There we are in our PCM. All, everything from module information, that's going to show us all our ECU, uh, the part numbers for that one, software levels, fault codes, read and clear, read the data stream, actuation tests, the configuration reports, specialty functions, system tests, OBD2 monitors, and the OBD2 functions. One of the things that I did notice and realize that this software is extremely inclusive. It has literally every single option that my factory Chrysler scan tool has with the exception of doing software programming on these ECUs. And that one, I seriously do not know anything that is less than the $5,000 range that's going to have the amount of functionality of this one. Everything from OBD2 monitors to in the uh, specialty tests to do the customer uh, specific functions like changing the light output and timers and everything along that line. So we're going to go to our specialty functions and just give you guys a quick little demonstration of everything that this has the function of doing. I've also used this in a couple of other vehicles. This one specifically, we did some transmission work to it earlier today, and I was actually able to take this scan tool and put it through its paces and was able to do a full transmission quick learn, restart the torque converter clutch reset procedure and do a break in period on that one. Normally on every other scan tool, I have not seen that specific availability of a function to it either. Like I said, the first time in, it takes a little bit to populate, but there it is about 30 seconds later. All of these different functions, all the way down to the transmission to the torque converter break-in period. That enables the torque converter break-in when you install a new one. Quick learn in the transmission, phaser cleanings, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, this thing literally has every single function that my factory scan tool has built into it with the exception of doing module programming. I can program keys, I can do tire pressure monitor programming. Now granted, 
take into effect that the key programming and the uh, smart module programming, you're still going to have to have the pin numbers and whatnot from the factory. So you might have to do some finagling with the dealership or an online subscription to be able to get those vehicle pin numbers, but it does have the capability of doing those programs. Data streams, we're able to go into the data streams and I can scroll through this one forever. We're able to scroll all the way through. It has every single field and option available. We're able to select any one that we want to see. So we can see switch status. We'll have it processed there and it's able to see the pro low pr side pressure switch in the transmission. If we wanted to, we could graph that and it opens up a graph and you're able to adjust your min and max also on a lot of these different graphs and it'll keep the timetable to what you select it to. And you can graph as many things as you want at a time. Usually when you hit the graph function, we'll just click a couple of them here so we can see a whole lot of different ones and then you can see that it brings up all of those puts a graph of all five of them separately or you can combine them and see a nice combined graph of every single function that makes it really nice and easy for seeing everything all at one time the only downside that I did find to the software, and it's not in its function, it's possibly a slight lack of function, is everything that you see here in the data stream, it's a lot. So once you select things, you can unselect them. But out of these 130 some things that are in the list, I have to scroll through and find each individual one of what I want. It would be kind of nice to have some kind of a search tab or a search function to narrow down that specific field that you're looking for. But like I said, they are all here. All you have to do is really search a little bit extra for them. We're able to see our configurations and the OBD2 monitors. So in the Dodges, especially, we're able to see our which cylinder is misfiring when, cylinder contribution style tests, heater monitors, O2 sensors, the different banks and data streams for those specific OBD2s, uh, cruise control cutout. You're able to see what percentage you're at for the oil change indicator monitor which cylinder is misfiring, all the normal things that us as uh, technicians are able to use on a normal daily basis. It's all there and it's all inclusive. Another thing to set up here for you guys, I've kind of created my own fault code for it. So we're going to be able to read our fault codes, read our DTC information. And as you can see, we have our intake air temp sensor circuit high. I have that one unplugged. Uh, we're able to click on this to figure out our freeze frame data reports. So exactly when it was the DTT, DTC, where it was set, the mileage at when it happened, and we're able to put this one and save it in the diagnostic report. These diagnostic reports back in the main screen are able to be sent, shared, recorded, exactly whatever you want to do with these uh, reports is totally up to you. And you hear that? As soon as we exit out of it, it says, don't forget to retrieve the connector because everyone at some point in their career will forget to leave something in the vehicle. So this one has a reminder to, hey, dummy, take the uh, dongle out of the vehicle so you don't leave that one behind. So when we look at the overall fit and finish of this thing, it's very well put together. It kind of reminds me of my son's iPad cover, which is really a good thing because that thing's really indestructible. This thing, I've dropped it quite a few times. I do have a little bit of a klutzy nature to me, so it has been dropped and it hasn't had a single issue with that one. Like a regular tablet, it does have a camera here on the back, be able to take photos, to be able to send and share wherever it needs to. Wi-Fi capable, it connects to Wi-Fi, does all of its updating on online, so that's nice. The receiver here is Bluetooth connection, not Wi-Fi. I like the Bluetooth because it's usually a little bit quicker, a little bit more of a stable connection for you. That makes it really nice as well. 
The other thing that I really would have liked to have seen would be in some kind of a charging or docking station for it. It currently does not have that. It just has a little port there at the bottom that it flaps out and a standard micro USB cable plugs into it like every other uh, Android based cell phone. So it uses mostly every other connection that you have that's pretty normal to an everyday tablet. Power function and it's able to go off. I have noticed though that if you don't have it plugged in and you don't have it physically turned off, the battery itself, because it's holding memory and the program's open in the background, that it'll go dead in about two days time. So I do like to keep mine plugged in as well. So the last thing that I know that you guys really want is the comparison and the price and the different features of what this thing has to offer. So price wise, it is gonna be right in that price form for you guys who have your nice own little shop or you're a DIY guy who works on a whole lot of vehicles. This really isn't gonna be for the guys who just work out of their backyard and do a couple vehicles here and there. It's priced a little bit out of range for that one. At the price point of $1,500, $1,499.99, this thing could be yours through Top Dot USA. Now, comparing this to some certain other scan tools that are on the market today, I was able to do a lot of diagnostic checking with what this thing will to do compared to a Snap-on scan tool, and that one's gonna be close to what like an Ethos Edge will do. An Ethos Edge today on today's market runs at $2,600. So you are over a thousand dollars cheaper than a snap on ethos edge. Plus the fact that it's going to have no cord to it as well. That's a feature that I really like to be able to plug it in, take my, you know, little scan tool iPad out, go around the car and do all my little diagnostics under the hood, able to actuate all the functions without being tied down by that cord. That is a super awesome function to be able to have. The warranty on this thing, it's gonna have a two year full warranty on you. And they, like I said earlier, I showed that they do have the diagnostics right there built onto the scan tool. So you're able to call up their US based uh, software help and say, hey, I have this problem and such. And they're able to log right onto your software, onto your Artipad and do software updates, check the function of it, see if it's the actual hardware or the software, be able to help you through that. I actually put myself through the call center to try to get get to someone I was able to talk to Jason was the guy's name down in Alabama he was able to function and help me with uh, my operator error it ended up being in the first five minutes of the call so another great feature for it then the team over at Top Don USA said you know what we'll be able to do one better for this one snap on they offer something called intelligent diagnostics so when you have a code you're able to click on that code and it takes you through the factory the oem checklist go through the flow charts to be able to see what you want it points you out to the different pids and data outputs to see what you really should check for that specific code they are going to be able to have this available on the Artipad Mini as well. It's not gonna be in that original function, it's gonna cost an extra fee, it's gonna be an extra $1,080 per year. But as compared to the Snap-on, which is over $2,000 per year for adding on to like the Zeus or the various platforms with their intelligent diagnostics or the Apollo, those things are going to be way over the moon outrageously priced compared to this one. If you add the intelligent diagnostics to it, which they're going to be all tied in through a company called Drive Motor, it is an intelligent diagnostic based software that they're going to have all tied into their software as well. If you add that onto it, this thing's going to be very comparable to what would be a new Snap on Apollo. If you're going to buy, end up buying one of those right now, that's gonna end up costing you over $7,000. Plus, you're gonna have to renew your yearly subscription on the Intelligent Diagnostics as well. You do on this one, but at over half the price, it's worth it to a shop who really is gonna use these things. It's a fantastic add-on for an awesome price. Just like they were able to do one better, I'm able to do one better for you guys as well. If you guys decide that you really like this scan tool, it's something that you could use in your life or for your shop, we're gonna give you something awesome. Normally this thing comes with one year of free updates for the software, the diagnostic side for you. Now, one better, if you sign up through uh, Top Don USA and you mention Rust Belt Mechanic, they are gonna hook you up with an extra year of help on top of that. So you're gonna extend your software updates out an extra year. 
Now these guys, when you go to order it, you can either order through the website or you can call them in person. I'll put both those down here in the description as well. You're gonna call them and they're gonna verify everything that you want and you need. They're gonna make sure that this scan tool is gonna fill exactly the function of what you want to accomplish with your shop or your everyday life. So in closing, all of the pluses and minuses that we have with this thing, we'll list them all out here. On the negative side of things, I don't really like that this thing's you know just a little bit small of a screen compared to other scan tools. I do like that it's more handheld, that's nice, but the screen could be a little bit bigger, but it works with what it, it has. But I would like to see this thing have a docking station as well in the future, adapt the bottom of the scan tool so it could be able to dock and charge because it does go dead within a couple of days if it's not powered all the way down. The search function would be a nice add-on to see in the data parameters when you're doing data scans and looking at data on the live data screens on the vehicle. That would be something nice to have. Plus, if you haven't booted up the software, normally it's gonna take a little bit longer than a couple of other scan tools that you would see. An extra 30 seconds or so of wait time is what you're gonna end up seeing in that one. On the plus side, big plus is gonna be the price. As a comparable scan tool is gonna to cost over twice as much as the $1,500 cost of this one, the price point puts this thing in its own league. The fact that it's able to also do every single function that my Chrysler factory scan tool is able to do is a huge plus as well, plus that it's able to work when it's not online either. My Chrysler scan tool, all we have is a little pod, a little port that plugs into the vehicle. That has to transfer data via Wi-Fi to a server. The server then is able to talk to whatever Wi-Fi device that we have, usually an iPad. So when you go out on a test drive, we have to worry about hooking up the dongle and hooking it into a Wi-Fi source. It's a pain in the butt. So having this thing able to work independently of Wi-Fi is nice. The Bluetooth feature on the wireless dongle is very quick, very responsive. I like that as well. All in all, it's a very well-built scan tool. It's almost indestructible. It's very nicely built, and the software is what actually helps us in the long run, too. Very well-built scan tool. I'll give that one a thumbs up. Like I said, if this is a scan tool that you guys like, I'll put down in the description the phone number and contact for Top Don USA. They're gonna be able to handle everything you need as well. The other uh, partner company that they have with them is called Cutting Edge Solutions Diagnostic Equipment. They would be able to hook you up with any other scan tools that you would have if this one doesn't fit the needs that you really, really want, I guess. So here in the future, I'm also going to be doing a review on their Artipad 2, which is their larger sister kind of scan tool. It's gonna to be something that's more functional, more capable, has add-ons, you're gonna be able to plug in and do a couple of more things than this one is gonna be able to do. That'll be a pretty neat review coming up as well. Well, that's about all I have for you guys today on this episode. I appreciate everything you guys have done for me here in the past. As a matter of fact, this channel just rolled over 10,000 subscribers. I never thought I was gonna get to that point, but thanks to you guys, you have made it all possible. I really, really appreciate it from deep down below. It's something that's very humbling and very awesome to see. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. We'll see you on the next episode, and you guys stay awesome.